uh, definite integral, lower limit zero, upper limit natural log four, the integrand e to the x divided by three plus two e to the x. Any suggestion for the variable u? This problem, we, we don't see the composite function. If we don't see the composite function, we're gonna look at which part is more complicated. Complicated, it doesn't mean it's gonna be composite function all the time. Numerator is e to the x, denominator is three plus two e to the x. So the, the, the whole picture of using the u sub is make the problem less complicated or make the problem in the more, more simplified form that you can find the answer in the convenient way. So this in this situation, the complex form would be the denominator. Target that one. If you replace, if we replace the expression three plus two times e to the x as a u, now the denominator becomes u. Okay, let's clean up one at a time. So from zero, natural log four, and I'm gonna write as a product. So this is one over u multiplied by e to the x dx. Okay, just, just take care of one piece at a time. Right now, the complicated part of the problem is replaced with the u term. Next, we're gonna work on the e to the x dx. How do we work on that one? On the side work, we are not quite done um, getting things prepped yet, uh, getting, in, getting things ready yet. Since u is three plus two e to the x, differential u, which is the derivative multiplied by dx, the derivative of three plus two times e to the x is, for the three, we get zero, for the two e to the x, we get two e to the x, okay? Or du is two times e to the x dx, at this point, what is dx in terms of du? Basically, you divide all by 2e to the x. Then the dx is in the form of du divided by, this is divide all by 2e to the x, sorry. So, so the dx is du divided by 2 times e to the x. And then we're going to replace whatever we get here into the problem. Now we have the integral 0 natural log 4, 1 over u times e to the x. The dx is du divided by 2 times e to the x. Simplify e to the x, e to the x cancel. The integrand part is already involving u. Remember the lower limit, upper limit at the beginning is involving in the x form. That means x equals zero as a lower limit. x equals natu natural log four is the upper limit. Along the way here, lower limit, upper limit still x terms or the number for the x. We're gonna get everything completely into the u version. That means lower limit, upper limit will be replaced as the value of the u as well. So on the side notes here, as x equals zero and u related with the x as three plus two times e to the x, for x equals zero, u is three plus two times e to the power zero, which is three plus two or five, okay? And then the other one for the upper limit, x equals natural log four, u is three, plus two times e to the natural log four. Another example that we see the relationship of the e and the natural log, that one cancel. Then the number will be three plus two times four or three plus eight or 11. Okay, back to the problem. That gonna give us, um, equal sign. Now the lower limit, we use the u value, which is five. 
upper limit u equals 11 of and the coefficient two the two here number we take it outside of the integral sign in the for the integrand it's just one over u and then with respect to u you see we transform everything that we begin with involving x now it's totally in form of the u okay and then we just work on the the getting the result i'm going to rewrite it in the clear version the coefficient one over two the integral lower limit u5 upper limit u11 of one over u with respect to u very clean this time anti-derivative of one over u is natural log absolute value of u and then we put the bar in the back because we're going to replace the lower limit, upper limit to get the final result. Coefficient one half, get it outside of the parentheses and work on the upper limit, which is natural log, absolute value of 11. You can omit the absolute value because the number is positive, same as the number five. So subtracted by natural log five. Okay, you can stop right here or you can use the property of the log that when you have the difference of the log is the log of the quotient. So this is another form of the solution. And again, this is in the exact form, exact form of the solution. Okay, so you answer this form, I'm fine with that, or this form, that, that's even better. Question for this problem. All right, another example, integral negative pi over two, no, negative pi, sorry, let me clean up. So from negative pi to positive pi over two cosine x multiplied by cosine of psi x with respect to x. we have definite integral of the product. We have cosine as one function multiplied by cosine of psi. Okay. What do you think? What should be the u variable for this problem? You see the complicated form. If you see it, what is the inner part of function? Question number one, do you see the complicated form of the function? We have two pieces. We have the cosine and the cosine of something. The way when you read the function, when I when I when I read it out. Cosine of something, that's the indication of the composite function. Okay. That means for the composite function, I have the second question as a follow up question. What is the inner function? The inner function is psi. So that is my choice of the u. So u is psi x. If you are not quite sure, just work on one piece at a time and see what's going on. <clears throat> So right now <clears throat> we got, excuse me, lower limit negative pi, upper limit pi over two, lip cosine x as it is, work on the innermost or the complicated function portion. So this part is cosine of u, okay, cosine of u with respect to x. Your goal is changing the x group into the u group totally. Okay, right now we work on one piece, just one piece of the entire portion there. Next, since the, the, the U part here is already done, just leave it outside, kind of rearrange the term a little bit. Cosine U multiplied by cosine X DX. Um, I regroup them because I'm going to work on cosine x dx next into some form of the du form, okay? On the side here, since u is psi x, the following part is what is the differential u? 
different to you is the derivative multiplied by dx. The derivative of psi is cosine. Okay. It's very convenient. We see the cosine x dx exactly the same as the leftover into the expression. Therefore, this expression will be replaced with the du term. Now we have the integral negative pi, 2 pi over 2, cosine u multiplied by du. Okay, the integrand part is, is finished. What you have to work on? The lower limit, upper limit, they still remain as the x value. As beginning here, this is the x. Lower limit, upper limit, they are x numbers. Your goal is again, change completely from x to the u group. Every single part has to be totally transformed into the u. The extra work that you have to work on, if x equals negative pi, what is the u? u is psi of negative pi from this relationship, okay? For the upper limit, x is pi over two. What is the u? u is psi of pi over two. And now find out what is psi at negative pi. Psi is negative pi, it's zero. Psi at pi over two is one. Next part, get everything in totally in the u form. Lower limit x negative pi as the u is zero. For the upper limit as the u value is one. So your problem in the form of the u is integral from zero to one of cosine u du. And now you just get it finished by finding the antiderivative of cosine u. We saw this problem a couple of times already today. So the derivative of psi is cosine. That means psi u is the antiderivative of the cosine u. Again, when you get to this step, you don't look back at the x because everything already substitute into the form of the u. You are done with the x, x all gone. Work on u, just keep going with the u form. Now the antiderivative, which is psi u, evaluate from u equals zero to u equals one. Plug it in, psi at one minus psi at zero. Psi at zero is zero. Psi at one is the real number. So the answer is psi one which is the exact form of the solution. And that's the result for this problem.